Holy Goalie. Hey. Surely that's the best back page, isn't it? Of course, talking about Alison's late winner. That's for you, Dad, talking about Alison, of course, losing his father tragically earlier in the year. Uh, Alice Stunner, meanwhile, another back page in the UK. Uh, Ali's KO, uh, the first goalkeeper in the history of Liverpool Football Club to score. Uh, Don, we talked about this a lot yesterday. I don't get bored of talking about it because it's so brilliant. Just take us through mm. your reaction. It was incredible. I was watching it live, Dan. It was just, you know, Liverpool played well in the game. They were creating chances. And then you see Alisson come up for the header and you think, surely it can't happen. He's unmarked. The technique for the header was just incredible. But it's the whole backstory, as you said, all the, all the, the trauma that he's been through, you know, losing his dad a couple of months ago. Um, the dressing room would have found it hard to try and deal with and try and console him all these months. And then, you know, he scores the winner. And then his interview afterwards was just perfect. You could see the emotion in him. He was nearly in tears and you felt for him. Um, so I think when you, when you want to restore some, some of your love in the game, you see moments like that in interviews like that. And it, and it gives you loads of love back into the game. It was just an incredible, um, incredible achievement. That's a, it's a good way of putting it because we watch so much, so many games, mm -hmm. and obviously not complaining. But this season has just been like relentless game mm -hmm. after. But then you see a moment like that, and it just makes you fall in love with the game once again. Doesn't it? The best thing that I can say about Alison's goal is that his header would have been a great header had it been Robert Lewandowski. Mm -hmm. Uh, had it been uh, an out and out striker, best striker in the world, that sort of header, we would have said that's a great header. Yep. For Alisson to do it, yep. puts it to an entirely different level. What a great moment and what a significant moment in terms of what it means for Liverpool. Yes. Some of these goalkeeper goals sometimes are meaningless. This one, yep. <laughs> he makes a whole bigger difference in mm. terms of where Liverpool are and what their intentions and, and possibilities of getting to the top four are. It was a goal that I'm sure Chelsea and indeed Leicester fans did not appreciate mm. maybe as much as everybody else because it had significant influence in the race for the top four uh, with only two games remaining according to the bookies. Liverpool huge favourites uh, to make it into the Champions League. They've got Burnley and then Crystal Palace on the final day of the season. Meanwhile, for Chelsea against Leicester, it is all about that game at Leicester on Tuesday, which will have a significant influence as to who will finish in the top four in England. Uh, Stevie, let's start with you and how, if any, the FA Cup will influence this game. Well, regardless of whether it's an FA Cup, if, if two sides who know each other so well play and playing in the domestic lead, and then you've got two sides who are battling for, for Champions League security, then it's very rare that one team wins back to back. And so the history books are against Leicester winning this game. Uh, the only thing I think that can, can get in the, the way of Chelsea is if Mr. Tickle decides to be clever again and and tries to rotate. You know, I think I think the fact that he rotated against Man City recently and won the game, I think that gave him a false sense of security. Uh, I've been saying all along, this time of the year, you play your best team. So I hope he plays his best team tomorrow. Um, and I think that if he does, they'll win the game. What's the front three, Don? What, against Chelsea? I think he'll, I think he'll play Timo Werner and... Um... And Havertz together again. They've right. been playing well With before Mason this Mount, game. Yeah, yeah. I think they've been playing well uh, before this game, or, or even Mason Mount a little bit deeper. And Christian Pulisic if he's fit. Um, but those two, especially the two Germans, have been combining, you know, really well of late. And that was a classic case of Thomas Tuchel, you know, trying to tinker and trying to be a little bit clever and putting Rhys James as a right-sided third centre back and Aspilicueta as a right wing back and not playing Chilwell and putting Alonso in. He spent more time worrying about Leicester and the pace of Jamie Vardy. That's why he played James. But if he's thinking of the problems that Leicester's going to cause him, imagine the problems that Man City might cause him in the Champions League final. So he's got to go strong now because all of a sudden now, Chelsea might be in a position where they lose the Champions League final and they could actually miss out the top four. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.